with you a guy in a cape or bro who's sneaky join me and me as we and the sign the geeky ah oh. was that david bowie there you did you, you went a little david bowie oh, little man. david bowie with iggy pop yeah. it was a thing it was it good was too much hey guys what's going on hello so it's it's october mm-hmm. this is halloween halloween Blake, yeah, is here with us tonight. Hey, as we talk about awesomeness, nerd stuff, kind of like reeling a little bit. Last episode we got a little crazy. The last two we did. Yeah, that was it, weird. Reeling a little bit. Let's actually let's, let's let's get into some shit. Blake, what do you do for fun? I play magic. Most, I mean, I guess I do that too. <laughs> and I, I mostly I train goats. To, like, climb into pyramids. No, he doesn't. So, I ran into Blake recently fucking skateboarding mm-hmm. at the mall. <laughs> that, yeah, that was weird. <laughs> at the mall. <laughs> How weird was that? It wasn't weird. I mean, it was a little weird because it was, a, it was unexpected. It, it, it was a mild weird. So, basically, I do not eat in the best of fashions. But recently, I started a low-carb diet. And as part of such, I started skateboarding again, which I haven't done in 10 years. At the age of 20. 29. 29. I actually just turned 29 Wednesday. Wednesday. A couple yep, of days thank ago. You. That was my birthday. Thank you. You're very kind for <laughs> mentioning. October the what? The 9th. The 5th. O- Oct- remember, remember October 5th. <laughs> yeah, that was, it was in the uh, V for Venduta. <laughs> <laughs> so, Blake, like, all seriousness, you, you do play Magic. Yes, yes, yes. You play a lot of magic. Probably more than I should. It costs me more. What format is the best? The best? Around! Around! Uh, I mean, the favorite... The, the format I like to play the most and I actually enjoy the most is Legacy, but I don't really get to play a lot of that because... It's expensive? It's super expensive to actually play it, and I've spent more than I'd like to admit on that format. What do you write on the Legacy, then? I play Storm... It's actually, if you consider among the different storm decks that are out there, it's cheap. It's it's on the cheaper end, like the cheaper quarter. How much does your deck cost? If I were to go out and buy that deck right now, cash probably about twenty two, twenty three hundred. Yeah, fuck that. I ain't spending twenty three thousand between two thousand and three thousand. Ain't happening. I'm not proud of it. Like, I will say this. So, like, I walked in to the fantasy shop, and I bought Affinity. Like, I went, I want to I wanna play Affinity, and I bought Affinity. And that I was mean, like 800 bucks. I was going to be say fair, that's $700, $800. That's actually really cheap for the... To be fair, that's a really good price for the deck of day. I agree. It is. Yeah, but, like, I mean, if, if you were to buy that... If you were to go to a, a, an event, you go to vendors... And just like buy that deck straight up, it probably cost you like twelve hundred dollars. Yep. Uh, so, affinity. Yeah. What do you do in affinity? You spit out your hand and you beat the fuck out of the other player. It's a. It's yeah. A, I mean, it's it's like, a beat down deck. It's a deck that abuses like the metal craft mechanic and just being able to play cheap artifacts. You know, what my favorite thing to do in affinity is my it's super not, secret super secret tech. Master it's of really Ethereum. Tech. It's super secret. Is you it? don't know what it is. I mean, you're saying it on... I'm going to say it now. I'm going to give out my super secret tech. It's fucking Shrapnel Blast. Yeah. The no. the I swing with the creature and you dismember it, paying four life. And then I Shrapnel Blast it. You take an additional five. That's nine to the dome, mm. son. Nine to the dome. I mean, nine like, to the dome. Not really. After you've yeah, already taken 12. Yeah. Yeah. How are you already taking 12? I don't know how I don't know what he's talking about. So basically, affinity. Um, for those of you who don't know, basically, turn two, you have everything in your hand out. Yeah, well, yeah. Basically, you're playing a deck with lots of cheap artifact based creatures and using the cheap to zero cost. <laughs> you're abusing the cards, cranial plating, and like uh, Art Brown Ravager to kill your opponents as fast as possible. But I'm not. Exactly sure what. I'm just being ornery. So, um. What do you play in uh, Modern? Me personally, I hate Modern because that 
format is because cancer. affinity. Uh, but I mean, I'll play <laughs> affinity. If, if if we're being completely honest, the, the the deck that I would like to play and which I will play in the Invitational in Atlanta coming up soon yeah. is invitate is a uh, affinity. Affinity. Oh, the you're... piece of shit. Yeah, broken cart, broken deck. What we're talking about right now. Broken deck. It's not broken. It's, broken. it's not broken. It's no, a fucking red deck wins can beat it. it no, 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 it's, it's a coin broken. flip with affinity. It's a coin flip flip with an impact. It's yep. Against ninety percent of the field, it's a game one win. Fifty. Fifty percent. More than fifty percent. No, it's fifty. As a guy that's played it for the past against years. the field, it's eighty percent against the field. Bullshit. Game dude. one. Game one. Okay, game one doesn't matter. That's what, that's what I'm saying. Because you have game two and three. Like they're well, fucking. Well, yeah, obviously you have to fucking you have to take that into account. Yeah, but that's, that's the whole game. <laughs> and, yeah, this, that's the whole match. Rather, so much, but you have to think about that though. You're taking into account that you're playing a deck that you're winning game one almost every time. You're not think, though. Th- just almost you're every not, time. You're not. Merfolk will beat it turn one. Or game one. More folk could. But what, what do we just say, though? Against 70% of the field. Tarmogoyf should beat it. No, Tarmogoyf is too slow. No. Okay, no, okay. Uh, Jund is too slow. Burn should beat it. In a fact, a very large flip. percent of the time, you're attacking them with a creature with flying. That's with fair. Infect that, that, that kills that, them on that, turn that, three that, or that's four. That's fair. It's three or four, for sure. Yeah. He got fucking serious. No, no. Three that's or what four, I'm saying, Three though. or four is right, though. Like, it's, turn three or that's four what I'm is saying. where the win con is. Not every time it kills you, but, but I'm it, saying but you're playing, a very large percentage it's a of the time. Down deck. Yeah. <laughs> okay, thank you. But I'm saying the angle that it attacks on is beat not down. not everybody can actually deal with that. Is it playing? A, is it a beat down deck? Well, yeah. Okay. That's what, what I'm about, saying, though. Okay. okay. The angle the, the angle that it attacks on before that's, that's the whole thing is that. Not a lot of people are equipped to deal with it. Before Blake actually, and Chris flip one. the fucking table and destroy our beautiful mic here, what are you playing in standard? Standard, I'm kind of bouncing back and forth between my buddy's deck, Grixis and Marge. Hold Voss. on, hold on. Zach Voss's deck. Yeah, Zach Voss. Uh, uh, fucking, he took second. That's my day one. I've been friends with him since we met, like, <laughs> like eight years ago. <laughs> since we met, <laughs> I've been friends with Zach Boss seven since we minutes met. ago. Um, he's, no. a, he's a he's a piece of shit, but he's really he's really good. No, Zach Boss is a good guy form. too. Yeah, yeah, no, I love him. He's, he's gonna one, come he's on one the one show. Of his friends. He is. Zach Boss will be on the show. The show no, but he soon. uh, you might have known his name from the standard open. He got second place last week, and he lost to white red vehicles, which is like. He lost to he lost to in that deck. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, he took a he took that a deck, fucking he took a homebrew all the way. Yeah, yeah. Like the the vehicle deck that I was playing is like the completely obvious deck that's like the new college de- Kaladesh uh, set that came out. As vehicles is one of the things they're pushing. It's very obvious. How did uh, so? How did he draw? Like what what caused him to take second? Because obvious, well, obviously, well, no, 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 obviously he lost Dick. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, obviously he had played that deck once or twice leading yeah, up yeah, to yeah. this. Obviously, like if you watch, if you watch the footage, it's up now on YouTube. He was only, I think he was only on camera like three times, and each time, even against the the vehicles deck, he actually, the deck has a good uh, matchup against it, and he was you know crushing it with Kyle's return and. And just the the little, uh, <clears throat> like the the draw that you can get with uh, Eldrake Fiend and everything, but when he was in playing in the finals, obviously, I don't know if you watched it. <laughs> did he play against fucking Finkel? <laughs> he played. He played against CVM. He did. He did. He kicked and, ass. Well, yeah. He was doing really good, but the the matchups. <laughs> So, the draws didn't really work out. He didn't really... Well, speaking of that, like, okay, so I was actually <laughs> reading a lot of internet comments after this, after Star City happened. And, you know, we're not really a magic show, but I want to bitch for a second. All these people that, all these people that are like, hey, look, red, red, white vehicles took it down. It's the best deck to play. It's the best deck to play. And you're hearing all these people, 
fucking suck this. How the, the, many decks did hold you on. beat? I got this. I got this. Go ahead. Hold on. I am in the middle of a rant. These motherfuckers out there saying that fucking red-white vehicles is the deck to play. You have a field of at least 30% running red-white vehicles, if not more. How many yeah. How many red-white vehicles top eight it? Was it four or three? It's three. Three fucking red-white vehicle well, decks I mean, top eight. It, it no, was, don't interrupt my rant. Because I have three people from the same team. The same team? Yeah, fuck these people. So, huh? so, so you had... You well, had fuck them. No, fuck them. Here's why you fuck them. You had you had a bunch of people now jumping on this red white vehicle bandwagon because it did well at one tournament when the field was mostly red white vehicles. Then you have Zach Voss who I mean, won- it was a team, right? Well, no, but fuck that. You had Zach. There was more than just the team running the deck. You had Zach Voss walked in there with a deck that really no one was running with a homebrew, with no one fucking knew what was going on with this deck. They couldn't yeah. beat it, and he just beat face. And they're discrediting that fucking genius there. The genius I mean, of running it's not that discrediting it, but it's it's, it's recognizing. It's recognizing What's, that, that, that what happening there and being he able crushed to red white vehicles through two days. Yeah, yeah, he lost to a lucky draw. That's what happens. Yeah, I'm not arguing that. So the deck's not better. All these fucking little jack offs on the internet going run red red vehicles because it crushed face needs to take numbers into account. Quit fucking doing that. Yeah, shit. the guy that beat so, fucking so. red white vehicles for a good while, take that into consideration Slow because down. it was two days of beating it. Slow down, Roger. You got very excited there. Fuck you, Chris Pine. <laughs> I just, God damn it, Chris Pine. You're not deserving of the James Tiberius Kirk title. Yeah. Preach but, on, brother. Wow. But. You're not our captain. Face the mic. Face the mic. <clears throat> That's how sound waves work. I would like to say that, yes. Yes what? I do feel that Zach Foss should have won the tournament. But he had a rough draw. I'm not saying Zach should have run one. Like, like the matchup wasn't. But yeah, his favorite. I, I do Ma- feel magic is lucky in ter- to draw. Yeah, exactly. There's a. I'm not a lot to of, an extent. Well, yeah. There's the luck of of the draw part of the of the game that actually does exist, and people don't take that for granted. My issue is not that Zach Voss lost. My issue is the fact that the internet has decided to overlook what he did. I don't because think because red white. I don't think that's won. true. I don't think people have written off the deck. <laughs> let's let's watch. No no no. Time out. Let's watch net decks. Let's because I stands. guarantee you, Zach Voss's deck is a thing. It's a thing. It is. It's a thing. It's yeah, a thing. actually, well, it, it, honestly, I mean, I've if, it seen fucking, that. if it goes past fucking what we've done here in Missouri, because guys, that's who we are. We're in fucking St. Louis, Missouri. If it goes past that as a top two deck. Because I mean, it's, it has on that gone is, past that though. Is, My issue is, is not it a top two deck, top tier. Yeah, yes, it's, it's a top, top two, tier. top two. Yeah. it's not top tier. It's top two. Well, like here's, here's when you issue. think of the two decks that you have to attack if you're going to regionals this next weekend, the two decks that you keep in mind are those two decks: white red vehicles and Grixis emerge. Like it's absolutely 100 percent something you have to keep on your radar because you. If you don't keep that in mind, you can't beat it. Yeah. But Zach Voss invented magic. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually do believe that. <laughs> I've, no, known, I've known Zach, Zach Voss since uh, 90, 97, and magic came out in 93. And I do believe that Zach Voss invented magic. <laughs> <laughs> no, Zach Voss is a fucking cool dude. No, 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 and he's like cool. that, that, that's uh, that's part of the that's issue. Buddy. That's part of the issue that I have here is you have people that fucking are like, ah, <coughs> oh, this other deck sweep shit. That other deck didn't sweep dick. Well, that's my issue, wasn't? Well, yeah, people people aren't looking what, at it in terms of in terms what, of fucking what the actual meta game looks like. The meta game is that deck. Yeah, the meta game is. Red white vehicles. From, from now on, we'll res- revolve around that interaction between red white vehicles and Grixis emerge. And like, is as much as people think as oh, that's just what happened in that final. But like, those really are the two. Who did Zach lose to? CVM. Who's CVM? Chris Van Meter. He's a. Uh, he's big. Yeah, he he's by uh, big. Yeah, he's, he's big known big. in terms of the uh, the Star City Circuit. And he, who who is Zach Voss? Zach Voss, he's just some... He's fucking... No offense, Zach, but, like, you're not fucking super known in that circuit. He's getting yeah, there. He's just, he's just another grinder like me from 
the St. Louis area. He's, he's trying he, to, to push his way on the circuit. And, and he fucking kicked ass. Yeah, and he, he showed that he knows what this this what this set can uh, add to the format, and especially with, you know, the format being where it was with, with Collective Company dominating everything and it, and being a whole new thing and and we're going through a new thing where um, we're basically the Kaladesh set was, you know, a big well, deciding set, factor in everything. The set still hasn't, you know, really flushed itself out yet. Well, yeah, but he was like, I mean, he, re- he recognized something that was already there. Yeah, and he, he expanded and, on it. Yeah, and he, and he knew that there wasn't really any way to break that up, and that like Kaladesh he, actually kind of... Who was his deck-building team? I mean, he, really, he didn't really have a team, per no, se. No, he, he didn't have a fucking team. Like, you have a guy that's fucking some... Uh, again, I'm not fucking taking anything away from the dude. He's some asshole that lives in some fucking tiny place that plays based off of a fucking national meta, and he fucking came in and he shit on everybody. Well, yeah. But basically, like... <laughs> Like, there's no getting around that. Yeah, I mean, it's just some kid that's, like, hanging out and looking at the same thing that everybody in the world that's playing a standard is looking at it. And he shit on everybody with it. Oh, yeah, but he realized that there's something there that a lot of people didn't see that was there the whole time. Well, a lot of people saw it now. Oh, yeah, obviously. Especially after watching Standard and seeing... There's a few other people playing Emerge in that. In that but it open. wasn't Grixis Emerge. It wasn't this oh, yeah, like weird kind of using your graveyard He realized type that but... there was a way to kind of abuse it a little more than other people did. Did you play him going up into into this? No. I mean, we, we tested it and he, knew, the four, he so, knew that the decks were there. Okay, so you tested him to go into this. Yeah. So you knew that I'm I'm not being a dick. So like you tested into this, like you were, um, you were one of the people that fucking felt that like, oh hey, this is actually a strong thing. Well, yeah, I knew that, but I didn't think that like we didn't think that a lot of people were going to be playing this deck because it's not it's not like a lot of if you watch the uh, the Star City footage, even they'll say like it's not an obvious deck. Like, it doesn't make... It, it, it shouldn't be. Like, that's how magic is supposed to be. It's not supposed to be a fucking obvious thing. And, like, you've got a fucking person that is smart enough to exploit the game yeah. in such a way. And, again, not I'm not trying to just get on my knees and suck Zach's dick. I think dick. you are. I'm not. I mean, I'm it, sounds, it sounds a little... Zach I'm, Voss is going on the list next to Kevin Smith on guys whose dicks you're going to suck. No, like, I'm a little bit proud of this guy. I mean, next month guy. he's going to be on. So. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit proud of this guy because... No, we're all proud of Zach he, Voss. He fucking... He, he fucking didn't in that deck, and he kicked ass. Yeah. Like, no, we're all proud he, of what he did. And, like, it entertained the geeky here. Like, he's a fucking homegrown for us. Like. For us, like, here, here, where we're at now, we're a fucking, we're a couple of St. Louis dudes, and seeing one of our own fucking do his shit, like, do what we've been trying to do for a while, is a beautiful really thing. Yeah. It's yeah. beautiful. Yeah. Um, so, my hat's off to him, dude. And, like, it's not like he beat one or two of these people. Oh, well, yeah. He, like... He, he beat that's... the top decks several times. Yeah, this... this. I mean... He just lost when cash was on the table. And that's really... <laughs> like, no, to be honest, that's, <laughs> that's not what even, happened. That's not even what happened. That's, like... He lost I the mean, final round. You're playing oh, a card game. This. He, every, ter- every round that he played, cash was on the table. You can't even... Think of it like that. Like every time you go to a tournament, and it's even like any open cash on the table, but playing his CDM, he's the fucking boss. And he kind of if you if you I watched the match today, CVM was nervous playing this deck. CVM, well, yeah, should CVM have was been. nervous. He should have fucking absolutely been. because Voss Zach Kick was his actually teammates ass. He was actually like favor going into this match. Yeah, it but was just you know luck of the draw. draw. Yeah, sometimes the draw happens. That I, way. Well, the thing, like, like I said, what started this whole conversation was the thing that pissed me off was reading the internet comments of everyone fucking going off on on how red white vehicles is the deck to beat. And how many times did he shit on red white vehicles? And no one gave credit to the fact that what Zach Voss did with a rogue deck, a top two deck, 
with a rogue deck, came in there on the first weekend and just blew the meta wide open. He yeah. fucking... No, like, even saying it's a rogue deck is hardly fair. Like, No, it's a rogue deck. It's a fucking top two deck now. No, that doesn't mean it's not rogue. Just because a deck does well in a tournament does not make it rogue. What makes a rogue deck a rogue deck is a deck that's outside the standard of meta. But, but which the, standard, this deck the was. standard of meta is meant to change. So, like, yeah, ba- back in the day... Um, I mean, it's rogue to an extent, but yeah. The... the like, well, you have to like, think about it in the terms of the context of like, the standard format. When the with the standard format, like there's there's top eight. Top eight is what matters. Out of top eight, players will select a deck that does the best out of all of those. So they'll say, okay, in top eight, five of them or four of them were a blank. Right. And you have an individual who shit on the meta because the meta was a particular thing. But the meta still won. The meta barely won. It still won. Yeah, they beat most of the stuff, but then he there's a already... the person like Zach Voss that fucking read the meta. Yeah, and no. That's exactly, and that's exactly what happened. Zach Voss fucking read the meta to the fucking T. And kicked ass. Yeah. And he did kick, my, kick ass. And that's the only reason why he didn't win the whole fucking tournament is just literally because of luck. No, we're the, we're all we're circle jerking around the same thing yeah. here. But Zach we, Voss, you're the man. Yeah, I'm not yeah. saying Zach Voss isn't the man. My issue is <laughs> I'm, the I'm fucking internet internet douchebags are telling us the red white vehicles was the deck to beat. He had already beat it. He had beaten it twenty yeah, yeah. fucking times before. But even still, that is as that I mean that is actually the deck to beat. And furthermore, to your road deck statement, douchebag. I mean, there was three of them in the top eight. <laughs> The, there's three red-white vehicles in the top eight. One Grixis Emerge. Let's look at the, the tournament results this weekend, tomorrow, and we'll see how many Grixis Emerge decks showed up in the field versus how many red-white vehicles. What happens if somebody like Louis Scott Vargas picks up a Grixis Emerge? Then it fucking goes... It's still a rogue deck. It, it doesn't no, matter. no, like if fucking Louis Scott Vargas, the man... If, all, if only 2% of the field is running a certain deck, how it's long, rogue. How long is Zach in play magic? I mean, if, if LSV picks up... LSV, I mean, Grixis he already Emerge. did. So, I mean, it's, it already happened. He picked up Grixis Emerge? I mean, yeah. How, how well did he do? LSV, LSV's not a fucking idiot. No, he's not. He's, exactly. he, he's LS, uh, no, <laughs> what the L- fuck are we even talking about? No, like, about okay, Louis Scott Vargas is no, the man. LSV is? He, he's basically, yeah, LSV in is. the magic world, that guy is the fucking man. But even if he picks up a deck and the rest of the field doesn't follow, it's still a if rogue deck. If the rest deck. of the field nah. doesn't follow, they're it's idiots. Not a, it's not a right de- rogue deck, though. If LSV it picks it up, be. he's it's the man. It's not a rogue deck, though. The deck that Zach Boss made is not a rogue deck. It's not. Why not? Because it's a very well established now. known deck. Well, yeah, it's, it's week one. Right. It's week one. And, well, and kind of, so what did LSV What I'm play? saying is look what at week LSV two and three play? and see where the deck stands We're, then. Hold on. What did LSV play? At week one. I don't know. I don't see LSV Because LSV he's play. not there. Yeah. <laughs> like, the fact of the matter is, you've, like, LSV is arguably. LSV is preparing for the fucking pro tours. Yeah, well, that. Uh, well, and so is Zach Voss. Yeah. Well, like, he's, LSV he's not, is. But, he should well, be. Um, should be. He's but, not. like, LSV is arguably the best magic player out there. One of them, yes. Like I said, arguably. Yeah. Um. So, like, that guy is crazy talented for the past 10 years. That guy has been crazy talented. Like, he's. He knows the game. He's very good at it, and uh, he's he's the shit. So, if somebody like that is not fucking winning out to this Grixis Emerge deck that some fucking kid is playing, because Zach Voss in the Magic scene is very new, with a really good beard, with uh, not knocking the man's yeah. beard. No, no, but the like, commentators were talking about his yeah. beard. Yeah, no, but like um. In the magic scene, he's very new. So, like, if fucking the the god of magic, LSV, isn't fucking doing what this kid is doing. He is now. He saw the deck. Yeah, he has to be now. He doesn't have to do anything. He has to. He could run red-white vehicles like every other fucker's going to do. Yeah, and he's going to lose to, guess who? Zach Voss. I hope he loses to Zach Voss anyway. I hope he does, too. I just like to say... I've been playing white red vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the past two months, and I haven't lost to to Zach Stack at all. Blake, but I just like to say, 
off of that. Blake, no, no, no. How long have, <laughs> how long have you been playing against Zach? For a while. As long as he has been playing. <laughs> but it's, it's not just Zach. <laughs> <laughs> There's like three other people. No, like, um, Zach Voss is a cool dude. I like the guy. And yeah. like, out of, out of our magic community here, um, and I'm not saying we have bad people here or anything we like do. that. But he's fucking... No, we do. He, he's a, <laughs> no, like, he's a cool dude. Like, he's laid yeah. back. I like being around him. And uh, you're you're the same way. Like, I've seen you kick ass with uh, Blue Black Control and a couple like, of things. Yeah. I'm not going to name any names, but, you know, I will sell you... If for a nickel, do I hear a nickel? Do I hear a dollar? Do I hear two dollars? Do I hear three dollars? Do I hear four dollars? That guy's a douche. Blake? No. I'm not naming names. No, just no, no. Blake, Blake, Blake will net deck. I didn't say anything about net decking. Blake will net deck. But hey, you Zach, you, Zach Voss. You don't listen to me. Zach Voss. This relationship here is not going to work anymore. You don't listen to me. Our relationship is fucking in stone. Okay. Not yet. The ink hasn't dried, buddy. Uh, oh, buddy. Our <laughs> ink has long since dried. I think Blake's falling asleep. Um, a little bit. Guys, thank you for tuning in. Like us on Facebook. We are Entertain the Geeky. Follow us on Twitter at Entertaining Geeky. Find us on YouTube. Again, Entertain the Geeky. And uh, we're on Instagram. We are Entertain the Geeky. Thank you so much for tuning in. Guys, do you have anything to say? No. (laughs) Bye! Stay geeky.